Let's talk today about acceptance. Perhaps the hardest kind of acceptance, the total acceptance of yourself. I pray today that you accept yourself as God accepts you. See, most of us go through our entire lives condemning ourselves. You know, there have been scientific studies on this. There have been studies of people that would talk to a plant. A plant! And they would say, you're the ugliest plant I ever saw. Why, you are just a condemned plant. You, you, there's no way with who you are and what you are that you can amount to anything. And it's been amazing that that plant will droop and it will die. Well, I tell you, on a daily basis, day and night, repeated many times over every hour, how many times we condemn or put down ourselves. When we come from the strength of acceptance, if we need to change in some area, we have the strength and the foundation to do so. When we realize the acceptance and the love of God that God is giving us, this empowers us to do anything that we need to do. When we realize that God loves us, and God created us, and God understands us. Now, perhaps there are things about yourself that you would like to change. Don't we all? Well, change, real positive change, comes with acceptance. It is much easier to make constructive changes with an accepting attitude than with a condemning one. There are areas in which you're ready to initiate change. But you've got to have the power inside of your soul to do that. And there are other areas that you choose to let remain unchanged. Well, in this moment, as you become accepting of yourself, you're able to see things good in you that you have been blind to. And you're able to cause yourself to stand up straight again inside of your soul and inside of the thoughts of your mind where you become a new person. It is the power of acceptance of ourselves and the power of acceptance that God really does love me, the power of acceptance to know that, that I have the power of being forgiven, to admit to God, yeah, I've made mistakes, and I'm sorry about those mistakes, but I want to become a better person. I don't want to remain locked in the mistake forever. Locked in yesterday? Well, you do that by accepting yourself as God accepts you. Here's the way God looks at you. God looks at your potential. God looks at who you are created to become. God looks at you as never a person that is locked into the moment, but a person that is expanding and becoming better and bigger and greater all the time. If you're willing. You have free will. You must be willing to accept yourself so that you can build on that foundation and go with God. And I pray this day is the beginning of that great building project. Amen.